Joseph Sook, the 4th of January 1874 to the 29th of May 1935, was a Czech composer and violinist. He studied under Anton and Dvořák, whose daughter he married. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> From a young age, Joseph Sook born in Krikovice, Bohemia, was deeply involved and well-trained in music. He learned organ, violin, and piano from his father, Joseph Sook Sr., and was trained further in violin by the Czech violinist Antonin Benwitz. His theory studies were conducted with several other composers including Joseph Bohuslav Furster, Karol Nittel, and Karol Stecker. He later focused his writing on chamber works under the teachings of Hannes Wehen. Despite extensive musical training, his musical skill was often said to be largely inherited. Though he continued his lessons with Wehen another year after the completion of his schooling, Suk's greatest inspiration came from another of his teachers, Czech composer Antonin Dvořák, known as one of Dvořák's favorite pupils. Suk also became personally close to his mentor. Underlying this was Dvořák's respect for Suk, reflected in Suk's 1898 marriage to Dvořák's daughter, Otili, marking some of the happiest times in the composer's life and music. However, the last portion of Suk's life was punctuated with tragedy. Over the span of 14 months around 1905, not only did Suk's mentor Dvořák die, but so did Otili. These events inspired Suk's Azrael Symphony. Because of a shared heritage, and the coincidence of their dying within a few months of one another. Suk has been closely compared, in works and style, to fellow Czech composer Otakar Ostsel. Suk, alongside Vitaslav Novak and Ostsel, is considered one of the leading composers in Czech modernism, with much shared influence among the three coming in turn from Dvořák. Eminent German figures such as composer Johannes Brahms and critic Eduard Hanslick recognized Suk's work during his time with the Czech Quartet. Over time, well-known Austrian composers such as Gustav Mahler and Alban Berg also began to take notice of Suk and his work. Although he wrote mostly instrumental music, Suk occasionally branched out into other genres. Orchestral music was his strong suit, notably the Serenade for Strings, Op. 6, 1892. His time with the Czech Quartet, though performing successful concerts until his retirement, was not always met with public approval. Several anti Dvořák campaigns came into prominence, criticism not only being directed at the quartet, but towards Suk specifically. The leftist critic Zednek Nehedli accused the Czech quartet of inappropriately playing concerts in the Czech lands during World War I. While these attacks diminished Suk's spirits, they did not hinder his work. Suk retired in 1933, although he continued to be a valuable and inspirational public figure to the Czechs. He died on May 29, 1935, in Benisov, Czechoslovakia. Suk is the grandfather of the famous Czech violinist Joseph Suk. Topic: Musical style. Suk's musical style started off with a heavy influence from his mentor Dvořák. The biggest change of Suk's style came after he reached a dead end. In his early musical style, music played less of a role in Suk's life outside of his schooling. Just before he began a stylistic shift during 1897 to 1905, perhaps realizing that the strong influence of Dvořák would limit his work, morbidity was always a large factor in Suk's music. For instance, he wrote his own funeral march in 1889, and it appears significantly also in a major work, the Funeral Symphony, Azrael, Opus 27. Ripening, a symphonic poem, was also a story of pain and questioning the value of life. Other works, however, such as the music he set to Julius Zeyer's drama Radaza Mahulina, display his happiness, which he credited to his marriage with Otili. Another of Suk's works, Pohadka Fairy Tale, was drawn from his work with Radaza Mahulina. The closest Suk came to opera is in his incidental music to the play Pod Jabloni beneath the apple tree. The majority of Suk's papers are kept in Prague. There is also a new catalogue of Suk's works that contains more manuscripts than any before it, some of them also containing sketches by Suk. Suk said of himself, I do not bow to anyone, except to my own conscience and to our noble lady music, and yet at the same time I know that thereby I serve my country, and praise the great people from the period of our awakening who taught us to love our country. Topic. 
See also List of compositions by Joseph Sook <laughs>